Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another like update slash vlog video and I'm gonna apologize right now. I am sorry that the last two videos, this one and the one before that, have been like vlog and update videos. I really do apologize, that's not the direction I want my channel going in whatsoever. Like in fact, like I wanna get, this is the channel the direction is going with two updates in a row. Like I wanna get as far in that direction as I can. But I'm gonna explain in this video what I've been up to and why there's been two updates in a row and not a regular Lego video. So first things first, I have been so crazy busy this week. It's not even funny, this is my busiest week yet. I'm going to tell you all about it. So Friday, this is Saturday when I'm filming this, last Friday, I went to school. I had a job interview. My parents were both away. I was home alone. I had to cook my own meals. Saturday morning, I woke up super sick, didn't, very f didn't really feel well, made a video on Saturday. You watched that on Monday. And then I had to go help somebody out as a sort of a job all afternoon. Went out for dinner. Think I got something sick at dinner because I was super sick again on Saturday night. Woke up Sunday. Still didn't feel very good. Got a call that I got the job, so that's really exciting. I'll talk about more of that in a minute. Did homework all day. Literally all day. Tried to upload my Monday vlog. The upload failed because my computer went into sleep mode. Paused the upload. Killed the processing. Monday. Monday was a pretty non-busy day. It was my sister's birthday. I had to go out for dinner that night. I had to make a bank account for this new job because the one I had didn't have direct deposit. So I needed to do that. Then Monday was already over. By the time I studied for a test, I had Tuesday. Tuesday had a test. Tuesday night, my sister's birthday party and test studying. Wednesday had another test. Actually, I had no, I had one, another test Wednesday. That was good. I had to study Wednesday night. Thursday, two tests. And then I was really busy then. Friday was a PA day. Friday was just yesterday, so I was home all, home all day off school. Really excited to get things done. Woke up super early to edit this really awesome trade from the Brick Artist. Here's one of the items I got in this trade. I was so excited to upload that, edit that right. That was going to be today's video. Go to turn on my Mac, my five month old Mac. Doesn't work. Completely broken. Won't even turn on. I lost everything. I didn't back it up. That was really stupid of me. I'm kind of upset, but I have a lot of stuff backed up. You know, like my all my YouTube stuff is on a hard drive, and I have seven terabytes of other hard drives, so I'm pretty good with space. This is the point. I did lose some pictures. That's upsetting. I don't have anything to edit my videos on right now. I mean, I have my old Windows computer, but I don't have iMovie, and iMovie is a software I really like to use. So. That trade video, I really needed iMovie for that because I already started it. I need it back. I have it backed up though. I made a review of that set. Really cool set. Need iMovie for that. Like there's just so many things I really want to use iMovie for. But the good news is, it's covered under warranty. It's five months old. Even if the computer is dead, 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 it's covered under warranty. Apple's going to fix it hopefully, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow on Sunday. So that's my goal, to go there on Sunday. That's when my appointment is booked for the Apple Store, the Genius Bar. I think it's the hard drive. Something is definitely wrong with the hard drive. I couldn't make a duplicate backup of it. I couldn't re-download this 11 point, you know, it's 10.11.4. That's what I downloaded, that's what happened. It's just not working, so that really sucks. So today, I've been doing a lot of training for this new job I got, which actually is going to be at a cinema, which is pretty cool. Cineplex, you've probably heard of it if you're Canadian. I'll be working at my local Cineplex. Really excited for that. Um, so today, I went to a store. Fortunately, in my local town, they're closing. I hate when stores close because I feel bad when they mark everything down to really low prices, and then I clear them out because I'm like, wow, I never shopped when you were open, and now I'm just going to steal all your stuff when you're closed. So bubble wrap. 49 cents a container. That's pretty good. I use a lot of bubble wrap when shipping Lego packages. As you can see, I have a whole drawer of it. I got four. These larger bubble mailers, 25 cents. I pay like 65 cents normally. These even bigger bubble mailers, 40 cents. That's a great deal. I know everybody orders them online, but I support local businesses when they're going into business. Um, that wasn't meant to sound rude, but seriously, I don't have enough volume of shipping. So that's why I just like go to the dollar store, buy these size envelopes, buy these size envelopes. They're, you know, almost, I think 30 some, 40 cents a piece. Buy these size envelopes, they're like 50 cents a piece. Like it's good, it's good. I support local. And I support my dollar store because they, they're the cheapest. Um, over here, so I did, I kind of did some green screen work earlier. 
Under here I did something exciting. I got this table and cleaned out all my packages. So now what I do is I pull the table over here and I set it all up, my lights, my lights and all that. I set it up and it's a perfect B-roll set. Like I filmed this whole review and I'm really excited because I used that, the set and the chicken suit and I made a really cool B-roll scene. So I'm really hoping the review for that turns out really good. I know it's kind of old the review now because that set's been out for a while, but I really wanted to do it. So the CMF stuff, I'm probably going to make that video this weekend too. Taking pictures of all my collectible minifigures. Right now they're all sorted by series into these containers. I'm waiting a couple more different CMFs in the mail that I know I will be getting. Such as two, three series 15 and like two non-series 15. Like a Lego like movie one I think. As well as a series 4 maybe or something. From Ontario Bricks on Instagram. You can check him out. He's a really great guy. As I said, my brick artist trade came in. I spent, oh that was the other thing, all my free time in the week I spent experimenting, I hit my chair, sorry, experimenting with my b-roll set because I filmed b-roll for every single minifigure that the brick artist sent me. So I was really looking forward to this haul video because it was going to be like none other and then my computer failed. But I'm not complaining about my computer because I don't want you to think that I'm going to start complaining about everything because it just seems ridiculous that five months ago my other computer died so I had to go out and spend fifteen hundred, well not quite fifteen hundred dollars on this computer because Macs are expensive but Macs are really good and I definitely am not saying I'm not going to get a Mac again because I obviously am because I really enjoy their computers. Anyway, that's kind of enough rambling. As you can tell my voice does feel a little better. I kind of got over my being sick yesterday, last Friday. I have my new job, so that's very exciting. I start officially Monday. Monday and not Tuesday, and then Wednesday. So two shifts this week. Very cool. I'm excited to have more Lego money. I'd love to upgrade my camera. That's coming in the kind of distant future once I save up for it. A couple shifts and I'm set. But that's really everything in the update. I don't know if I've ever showed this before. Really? But these are all my packages. So every time somebody sends me a package of those brick letters or an envelope, it goes in here. And if you send me a box, I go in there. Why? Really? Because I'm a hoarder and it's kind of interesting if I'm really, really bored. You know, I can pull out a package, show everybody's address, which I hope I'll block that out if I did show an address. But I can, I never thought. But I can kind of see like, wow, that's pretty neat. I got a package from this part of Europe. Oh, I got a package from Greece. Oh, I've got a package from China. Lots of cool things. So thanks everybody so much for watching this vlog. I kind of hope it made sense. I feel like I just do nothing but ramble in these seven minute vlogs. But I'm starting to pack up Philly, or no, I'm not packing up Philly. I'm starting to pack up the city for Philly just because that's coming up real soon and with this job. I was having some issues with my Ferris wheel turning yesterday. So I had to take apart the base of the Ferris wheel and fix that. It was each car was catching on here so it would be like this noise. It was doing like this every time. Every car. So that was really annoying and I wanted to fix that because I am bringing the Ferris wheel. All the stuff I plan on selling, I'm so glad I got that because like as I, I just predicted that I was going to get really busy before this convention. So I decided I'd pack that all up weeks in advance because I don't want to focus on selling stuff. Like a couple people I think thought that this, when I was getting ready for to sell stuff at Philly before my mocks, I think people, a lot of people thought, oh my god, he's such a sellout. He's going to Philly just for the yard sale. That's not even the case. I wasn't even going to bring anything to the yard sale until I heard somebody mention about the Philly Brickfest yard sale and I said hey I definitely should bring some stuff for that but I really should get it done now because I want to focus on my mocks so I'm really excited for that and I think I'm gonna sign off at nine minutes thanks everybody for watching I really hope you enjoyed I hope I didn't ramble too much and I hope I actually get this video edited because that would be awesome thanks again for watching thanks for listening to my crazy week that's all for now